Good afternoon, Codger Biker here, and I'm trying out yet another spoiler. Okay, previously I've tried this spoiler on top of the R screen which I tried and uh, with that on the R screen it was about the same as the um, stock S screen but with a bit more flexibility because you can adjust the geometry of it. It wasn't enough of an improvement for me to uh, stay with that. I tried it on the S screen touring screen which is a bit wobbly with it on I mean the S screen is a bit wobbly anyway so putting extra weight on it is less than ideal It'd be worth it if it works so that weighs about 330 grams so it's quite a substantial thing it's simply was a bit unnerving watching it wobble around so I didn't really give that its full um, test I suppose it's about 14 inches wide and 5 inches deep so 13 centimeters deep by 36 centimeters wide and over 300 grams so I just felt that that was a little bit too heavy to persevere with great on the um, on the R screen so if you've got an R one of them would be great It'd give you quite a, little, a bit of adjustment particularly if you've got to go on motorways and you can take it off when you get there so let's weigh this one this one came today okay so I haven't fully assembled this one yet but in the interest of fairness I'll put all the parts that go with it onto the screen so that's 308 grams can't remember what the other one was so it's not substantially lighter Yeah, so it's less than 10% lighter, so weight-wise, it's not a great saving, which is disappointing. I thought it'd be lighter than that. But uh, in terms of uh, leverage, perhaps it will be less stressful on the screen. The dimensions of this one, probably can't see that on the camera. It's uh, 29 centimetres wide, or 11 and a half inches. By four and a half inches deep or 11 centimeters so place that one the first one that I bought and the new one you can see that there's quite a lot less plastic um, and also these will probably fit a little bit better because these were quite outside of the S screen the only way to find out whether it makes any difference is to uh, test it I guess okay so as I've mentioned before many times I'm quite a curious sort of person which is quite handy for making YouTube videos I've also if you check through my channel tried a couple of different options for uh, trying to minimize the turbulence um, on the screen for this bike which has puzzled me because I don't really find that much at my height uh, and yet other people have said that you know it's unbearable so I think what's going on here is there's different expectations maybe different sizes is another thing and uh, of course different opinions so I don't find the stock screen to be too much of a problem Every time I've tried to add anything to it, I've been more annoyed by it wobbling um, than enjoying any of the improvements, to be honest with you. So, the smaller spoiler is a little bit lighter, a little bit less wind loading. It's still moving around, as you can probably see there. Question is, will the improvement be worth that uh, amount of movement? If I ever get to the motorway, I'll let you know. 
So as you can probably see, it's quite flexible anyway, and obviously that's not going to help it. I could put it on the lower setting, just to be clear, that is on its highest setting with the spoiler on top, and I've put the spoiler as low down, more or less, as it will go. Probably go a little bit closer. The idea being to create a planar flow of air, and if I put my hand here, I could feel the air whizzing upwards. I've also tilted that slightly forward. So that's just for an initial test. To be honest, I'm absolutely certain if you fiddle with that long enough, you will improve the turbulence. If you're getting turbulence. I've never found this bike to be so bad. The uh, Africa Twin I had was quite turbulent when I first got it. And a lot of the wind used to come through the fault tonight. It doesn't really happen on this bike because it has a deflector on the front of it. Um, morning. Afternoon, sorry. And with the Africa Twin, I bought a um, Batson screen adjuster, it was called. And really, just to lift it up a couple of centimetres made a, a big difference for me. So that sorted that out. I'm all curious, to be honest, by the vehemence which, with which some people have said they can't bear the turbulence because they just don't find that. So anyway, on your behalf, I've fitted a small spoiler. The question for me is not about turbulence, it's whether I can bear that wobbling. To be fair, it's not overly bad. If I was American, I could say super bad. Super seems to be the number one word on uh, YouTube. Things can't be very good anymore, they have to be super good. Or it can't be very windy, it has to be super windy. But I'm English, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to head up to a motorway, ride a couple of miles up and down. I've done the, sa the same sort of trip before with different um, options. I can only give you a subjective comparison, it's difficult really to measure it in any way. There is a, um, an external microphone on the camera which will capture the wind noise but that's at uh, the level of my jaw and in any case this is a different helmet. Oh I'm actually wearing an adventure helmet with a peak so if there was any turbulence I really should notice it. I'm just feeling the wind, I can feel uh, a wind coming between the sandwich of plastic, the plastic sandwich. <laughs> could get a sandwich in Prague but I don't think it was made of plastic and I can definitely feel wind coming off the top of the spoiler so aerodynamically it's definitely making a difference and I'm sure if you spent enough time changing the geometry of that you'd find something that would uh, work for you I'm still not happy with the wobble on it So there's two options for me, will I get used to the wobble is option one, put up with it, or option two is put the screen on its lower setting and then fiddle around until I find something that suits. But really I'm just curious to see what it's like on the motorway. Yeah, so we're going to head on down the motorway, or as I would say in America, I'm going to go ahead and head on down the highway, super busy today. See if I can get to motorway speeds, see how it feels, and I'll give you a subjective opinion on it. And um, I'll put a bit of audio from the camera mic. This is a very noisy helmet that I'm wearing as well, which is um, something I've noticed in the past. Okay, so 55 miles an hour, pretty good. Yeah, the air is there and it's probably just going over my peak. Probably end up in Scotland if I get stuck on here, forget to turn off. That would not be a bad thing. Call in C. Campbell 01. Not quite sure he lives, but uh, I'll find him. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's traffic. Okay, so 
coming up to 70 miles an hour. The rattles off the lorry at the side of here that you can hear probably. I have to say that is uh, an improvement. I haven't even fiddled with it. I've got a peak on my helmet and uh, I'm sitting in relatively still airflow. If I could put my hand on my helmet, I can't feel anything at the peak, but it is just over the top of my helmet. So doubtless if I was taller, I could adjust that upwards or change it around a little bit. That seems to be a success in terms of diverting airflow and smoothing it out. I had a little doubt that it would be. The question is, can I put up with that wobbling around? So being positive, I think that um, does make some improvement. Obviously it's quite narrow, you, the wider one would be over a wider area, but just uh, in regards of the peak of my helmet, which is quite a big peak on this helmet, I don't know if you can see that, and a visor up. It's, uh, I didn't get any wind on, on that at all. Yeah, it's uh, nice and smooth. So I think if you're willing to put up with the wobbles, you've got a chance of some improvement there. Well I hope that was of some help, I'm going to leave this one on for a while. Just a short one, hope you're having a good day. Please subscribe and like, uh, because uh, the YouTube algorithms have changed and if you don't subscribe to people, um, you won't be notified. I think you even have to click on the notification now to ensure the notification. Does that make sense? I seem to have skewed it more towards the most popular videos of which I will never be, unfortunately. Anyway, good day to you all. Codger Biker is out. I'm going home to watch the cricket. Oh, the cricket. Oh, don't talk about the cricket. Oh.